Okay, uh, hello everybody. This is the first of the daily live streams. I'm currently still in my office. Uh, they haven't shut it up, but obviously if this uh, does get shut up in the next few days, I'll be moving out to the caravan to do my live streams from there. Um, I've had lots of comments from people already. Uh, Mac, Mac McFlurry, um, unfortunately, you know the situation is serious when even McDonald's shuts. Okay, so hopefully everybody watching this is safe in their house. Now, in this live stream, uh, this is meant for GCSE. Now, it could be that you're, you're in year 11 and you still need to be doing some work because you might have some other potentially um, assessments in school or you might even have an exam uh, maybe in the autumn term to kind of show how you would have got on. So I'll be doing a live stream later today where I'm talking more about uh, the impact on your exams and things like that. But this live stream is going to be perfect for revision for year 11 and it's also brilliant for anybody in year 9 or year 10 um, who's actually learning about GCSE physics at the moment. So we're going to be doing a lesson all about atoms and isotopes. Now this often comes under the radioactivity topic because you need to know what's going on inside the atom in order to understand things like radiation further down the line. Now for all of these daily lessons, they're going to be at 10 o'clock every morning for GCSE. I'll be doing another one at 12 o'clock for any A-level students, but this one here, because it's on a GCSE topic, um, if you go to GCSEphysicsonline.com, if you go to my website, if you click on the yellow bar at the top of any page, it takes you to the COVID-19 page, and there you'll see the lessons that we're going to be doing this week. Now, ideally, obviously depending on your own personal situation, is you can go to the lesson, you can then see some videos that I've already made, there are some quick questions, and basically if you're a, um, a student who can actually just sit down and watch those videos, that will teach you pretty much everything that you need to know. So basically, I'm going to be your teacher for the next, uh, I suspect, few months for, for a lot of the kind of physics you're going to be learning. So um, go to the website, look at the lesson in advance. And if we look down here, um, you'll see with the lesson, I also included a worksheet. This one came from Dr. Edmonds, another teacher who's done some free web uh, uh, kind of, he's, do, he's doing loads of stuff at the moment for lots of people. And basically, this is what you can have a go at in advance of the lesson. Now that means if you want to look at tomorrow's lesson, um, you'll find everything you need on my website, you'll find the worksheet for you to have a go at before the lesson. Now, I fully appreciate that most people don't have a printer and therefore the idea could be that um, rather than actually having to print out the worksheet and write on it, what you could be doing is just looking at the questions on your phone, you write them down on a piece of scrap paper and then you can actually, uh, as I go through the answers in the live stream, and actually talk about why we've got those answers, you can then check your work. So this is very much a complete lesson from home. Now, I know your teachers are probably trying to set your online work as well. I know you're getting used to lots of things, but that's my plan for this week. And obviously if uh, the schools are gonna be shut for a long time, um, then I'm gonna plan basically a whole term's worth of work for you to have a go at, so you don't get left behind. And when you start school again, you're gonna be at such a massive advantage compared to the people who didn't do this work. So um, let's just see what uh, comments people are saying. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, um, McMc McFlurry, um, Year 11, yep, yeah, keep watching this stuff. Don't just completely stop. If you're in Year 11 at the moment, don't just completely stop working and doing nothing because you might very well have some internal assessments that your school in the summer term that they can use to give you your predicted grades. Okay, so that's important. Um, the live stream is going to be for about half an hour, depending on the time, but basically, if it's a bit longer than half an hour, that's fine. If it finishes too early, I'm not going to just keep talking and waffling. So I think about half an hour is a good amount of time without it just going to me being really boring. Okay. Um, uh, somebody who's got to leave at 11.30 for an English online thing. Yep, yeah, that's fair enough. I think Mr. Bruff is doing something at 12 o'clock. I know that other people are doing live streams. But basically, even if you can't make the whole live stream, you can always catch up on demand on YouTube and also go to my website where you can see the live stream uh, for that day's lesson. So even if you can't be here at 10 o'clock every morning because you're doing other things, you can still be here and I will be, you know, I'm going to be trying to make stuff as easy as possible. Also, um, uh, QES Physics, um, your teacher setting work for your students, great idea, thanks. Not a problem, yeah. Um, I know as a teacher that it's really hard to set online work. Now what I'm doing is kind of a bit easier because I don't need to be actually making sure that my students have actually done the work. But at the very least, for the next week or the next two weeks, if you're a teacher watching this, just send them my way. I will sort out the physics content. They will get a good quality lesson. And that means as teachers, you can think about other things. 
including looking after your own kids, looking after other relatives, making sure that if you have to go into school on a rotor to look after some of the students, you can do that. So if you're a teacher, I've got your physics lessons covered. And again, you can always just send them to my website to see other things. Right, um, let's start though with a bit of revision. Now, my assumption at this time is that you've had a look at some videos on the website already, or it might be you've been taught this in class. Now, inside the atom, there are basically three different particles, okay? Now, it, we can represent them as circles, so you can just draw different circles to represent different particles. Uh, sometimes we might colour these in, and to be honest, they don't actually have a colour. I mean, protons aren't blue, neutrons aren't yellow, electrons aren't grey. Whatever colour we're giving, this just makes our diagrams easier to understand. So in school, you might have done some diagrams like this, where we might have um, electrons even with a cross, perhaps. Um, it's supposed to be a circle there. I know it's a bit out the screen. But, you know, this is just a way of representing the world around us. In chemistry, you might do dot and cross patterns to show ionic bonding or covalent bonding. This is just trying to model the world that we can't actually see. Now, when I've made videos, I've used yellow to be my protons. I've used red to be my neutrons. And I've used grey to be my electron. Okay? And I think this is just a nice way of explaining things. And actually, if you see my A-level videos, we can take this up to university level particle physics. Now, inside the atom, we have a dense uh, central nucleus, which is made out of protons and neutrons. And these are both relatively large particles, uh, a similar kind of mass, but a proton has a charge of plus one and a neutron has neutral charge and therefore it's got a charge of zero. And in the nucleus, these things are gonna be bonded together in this kind of dense core. So this is now my nucleus of an atom. And surrounding this, we have a cloud of electrons. And the electrons exist in distinct shells. So it might be that we have two electrons in that innermost shell. If we had um, another shell, we might have up to eight electrons. And then again, this is what you might have done in chemistry. You have like two, eight, eight, and so on. And really, we kind of look into this in loads of detail, and that's behind loads of chemistry about why things happen, because things have reactivity, they want to bond to certain things. But we're going to ignore that, we're just going to think about inside a simple atom at the moment. Now, in a normal atom, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons, and that means it would have no overall charge. And the amount of protons determines which element it is. This one here has two protons, and that means that this is an atom of helium. So again, from chemistry, you know that everything has its own symbol. And what we do at the bottom down here is we write down the number of protons, okay? Up here, we write the total number of things in the middle. So in this case here, it's got one, two, three, four. And this is how we represent that atom. Now, a couple of numbers here. What we have is we have the atomic number and the mass number. The atomic number is the one at the bottom and the mass number is the one at the top. Now, confusingly, um, we often call the mass number the A number and the atomic number the Z number. So we've got A to Z. Okay, so we've got A to Z over here. Um, and basically the atomic number is equal to the number of protons and the mass number is equal to the number of protons plus neutrons. And in a normal atom, which has no overall charge, the atomic number, the number of protons, is going to be equal to the number of electrons. Okay, hopefully that's revision. If you're unsure about any of this, again, you can go to my website and see a full work video where actually me and Primrose Kitten did a video together about this. But then we talked about isotopes as well, and these are really important because all the helium in the world isn't all identical. Sometimes we have helium with a different number of neutrons in the middle. Now, because it's still helium, it must have the same number of um, uh, protons, but we have a different number of neutrons. Okay, so this one here, it's still got two protons, but it's got one neutron. If we had um, a different, maybe we had three neutrons, it stays as the same type of element, it's just got a different number of neutrons. And this is when we come into looking at isotopes. Okay, and some isotopes are stable, and they just exist quite happily. Other ones are unstable, and that means that um, they might want to give out particles, maybe like alpha or beta particles, to become more stable. And that's why we have things which are radioactive. Okay, so hopefully what I've talked about there is just a bit of a summary. 
Um, hopefully, um, oh, I think, is it stuttering? Uh, okay, right, I've seen, uh, and yes, uh, you can go to the toilet, uh, it's a hamster. Um, okay, there, let's see what I can do about um, the kind of lagging, but I'll just keep going for the moment. So here we go, technical issues, maybe the internet's just not working as, as well as it should be. So um, when I'm thinking about how I can actually sort out some of the kind of, tell you what, I will be there. I'm still going to be here. Let me just see if I can look into a way to stop it stuttering as much. Okay, just uh, hopefully there's not going to be too much more buffering. Um, technical issues, the teaching's good. This is the thing, teachers, we can teach you quite well. The whole online stuff um, is hopefully uh, going to get sorted out and I will be working to make sure there's no more technical issues. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments if there's too much lag, if it's buffering, if it's stopped streaming. It's, it did seem to work okay, but I'm not sure why it's gone down, but let me, um, let me just keep going. So, um, this is kind of just a bit of an overview about atoms. Now, working through the questions, if you've done this in advance, then that's brilliant. Um, okay, so yeah, um, here are some questions. We're gonna go through these. Um, hmm, so it's still buffering quite a bit. See, this is the thing online teachers. It, when it works, it's fine. Um, <laughs> okay, um, and I can see it's still buffering at the moment. Let me, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Um, tomorrow's live stream will be so much better than this, but let me just see what uh, I can sort it out. Um, okay.